Hi, this is Sherman Kranzer, and I'm the president of the Kranzer Group, and thank you so much for opening this. Many partners we work with are very frustrated with working within the Microsoft ecosystem. They're frustrated with how do they sign up for the right programs or get the right incentives. We specialize in helping those Microsoft partners get into the right programs, ensure they're in the right incentives, and put them on a path to grow at least 40% year over year. Next, we actually install a marketing machine program that helps our partners put together a very strategic go-to-market strategy that will put in place a way that they can drive 10 net new opportunities every single month. We look forward to talking with you, so please give us a call. All right, so let's get into one of the coolest uh, features that Microsoft Teams has to offer, and that's called the live event. So we're going to show you an example of what we just actually conducted and demoed inside of a call. Now remember, best use case scenario is when you set these up, make sure that you have two producers assigned to each live event, just in case one of your internet connections goes down. All right, thanks so much. Uh, but let's show you something that is so cool called live event. So up on the right hand side, click the downward chevron and you click live event. So that's what we're doing today. We're doing a live event, right? Um, because what we want to do is the live events can go stream out to 10,000 people at a time. Um, 10,000 people at a time. And you could have presenters and attendees that come in and you can make, you know, a really great presentation afterwards. So let me just show you how you would do it. Typically you put the title, okay? So it's teams training. Okay, you're going to have presenters and you're going to have producers. So a producer has a completely separate screen that I'm going to show you here in just a second. But in a, the presenter, okay, would be Alan DeYoung and he's going to be a presenter. And I can either make him a producer or a presenter. Okay, so let's go ahead and push next. Now in here, you're going to have people and groups organization wide, but if you turn it on in the back end, you'll have public. And that's what we're doing today. We turned it on in the back end for public, right? And then on the bottom here, this allows you to have the recording available to attendees. It's gonna have captions, attendee engagement report, Q&A, but also if you turn on the AI function, you'll be able to have this translated into six different languages. So somebody who signs in with Spanish, you'd only speak Spanish, they click on, they say Spanish is their, their native language, and it'll automatically convert every word I'm saying in milliseconds into captions, as well as an actual voice that Microsoft provides really super awesome Japanese and it's instantaneous it's unbelievable right uh, then what you do here is you go ahead and schedule okay and then what happens is it schedules but this is really important actually um, when you get the scheduling it's going to give you two links this is the attendee link you only send that to the attendees so they can click on uh, the web version uh, of the actual um, the actual web version okay um, all right, so let me go ahead and I'm going to close that out. Now I'm going to show you what it looks like uh, in person. So I'm going to stop sharing that, share um, my desktop one moment. Okay. Now you see my desktop. So this is what the producer sees. So I have myself in the queue. This is in the queue area, right? So, and then this on the right-hand side is what is live. So you're seeing that live. So now if I go ahead and send live, uh, now you're gonna see just me in the picture, right? And now if I said, hey, Andres is on, hold on a minute, I'm gonna send him live. I'm gonna say, Andres, you're live, you know? And then he's gonna wave his hand around and he's gonna start talking. And I'm like, well, let me go ahead and show this. And I can basically take from the system sharing tray and actually show different people different things, right? If Yusuf had his um, his video enabled, I'd be able to get his video in and kind of, you know, kind of push that. So we go ahead and send it live. Perfect. Um, so that is the demonstration for the Windows Live event, uh, which I think is just, uh, you know, super cool. Uh, functionality. You can create some really great uh, event there. And oh, hey, hold on a second. I'm going to show Yusuf. Hold on, hold on, Yusuf. We're going to. All right, Yusuf. There he is. Now wave, buddy. And there he is. So he can actually see himself, right? So we're, we're bringing them all in uh, to different people and, and, and kind of doing this this live. So, uh, you know, different things. Uh, just, just kind of a cool functionality, right? And, and then the nice thing is that it renders in 4K within about five minutes. Uh, and you can download it and share it with uh, folks in your team or whoever's uh, inside of the, the, uh, the event. Um, so let me go ahead and go back to um, the, 
the demo here. We only have a few minutes left, so a couple things I want to just follow up on. Um, so this is, we're back to the calendar, right? Hey, thank you so much uh, for watching this video. Please remember to subscribe to this channel as we look forward to producing and updating you with the latest and greatest technology tips and tricks. Have a great day. Bye-bye.